by 2007, only three more teams had been released. All of them were named after previously existing teams. The paint jobs on these final figures were of higher quality and featured innovative designs, yet all of them consisted simply of repainted elements. A new night patrol, which lit up and glowed in the dark, had Rock Miner, Sam Sparks, and Jack Hammer. A new Hydro team with water designs on their clothing had Gil Gripper, Sandy Beach, and oddly enough, Captain Cuffs. And finally, a new wildlife team. Each human had designs on his clothing. On the team were Seymour Wild and Spotter, Brandon Irons and Coyle, Rip Rockefeller and Fang, a helicopter with animal stripes, and Smokey the Fire Dog with Billy Blazes. So, what led to the demise of this once in demand product? Well, for one thing, Fisher Price was running out of new product ideas. Also, Rescue Heroes advertisements were targeted specifically at small toddlers, an age group that couldn't possibly understand the storylines of the TV show and the movie completely. After one movie, 60 episodes, almost 400 figures, and 10 years, the Rescue Heroes were virtually going extinct. Well, maybe not extinct, maybe going into hibernation, because after all, who knows what the next decade will bring. Okay, that's the end of the movie. Um, oh no, I just remembered. At the end of anything having to do with rescue heroes, you're always supposed to give safety messages, and of course the catchphrase that they give at the end of practically every episode and even the movie. Okay, safety messages, let's see. Um, um, Never load mini CDs or mini DVDs into a slot loading disk drive. It'll get stuck and it won't work. That's why I always like tray drives anyway. Um, um, uh, and if you're not a Rescue Heroes fan, don't watch this movie. You'll probably be bored out of your mind. It's a little bit too late for that now, though. Um, oh, well. Think like a rescue hero. Think safe. Just a quick note. If that last part confused you, uh, what was I holding up there? That was uh, actually a, a rescue hero's tool that I made for myself. Obviously using a lightsaber toy, but I called it the curdled water saber. Yes, it was uh, to fight fires with. So anyway, that completes the original documentary, but still stay tuned because I'll be updating, uh, uploading more videos. Um,
the next videos will be uh, about things that I didn't cover from those 10 years that I missed the first time around and I'll be sharing some interesting tidbits from throughout the years and then I will continue to go on to further years and other videos about further uh, progressions in the franchise both uh, toys and media stay tuned